Hello, beautiful people. I am Jessica. I am a licensed hairstylist here in Henderson, Nevada. I'm also the owner of Jess Marie Hair Studio. And my channel is basically reviews. I'm gonna be doing lots and lots of reviews on my channel, lots more um, reviews, hair tutorials, and hair education. I am your hair bestie. I am here to give you the tea around hair and around the hair industry and just everything here so if that is something that you guys are into then make sure you go and hit that subscribe button so you are subscribed and a part of the family okay so i'm gonna just jump right in because i know y'all didn't come here to hear me talk y'all came here to hear the details on this blow dryer so today's video is going to be a review on the ghd can help blow dryer i'm going to give you guys the real the unfiltered truth when it comes to if you should purchase it because this is quite expensive and honestly i, I gotta help y'all out I, i'm y'all hair bestie so my job is to help y'all out and let y'all know if it's something y'all should be spending your money on i'm gonna tell you guys at the end if it's something that you should really should spend your coins on if you should just skip it child because i'm gonna let y'all know okay <laughs> So now I'm going to list the pros and the cons, okay? I'm going to start off with the pros because, and let me stop right there. If you guys are still watching to this point, then make sure you go down in the comment and say, what's up, girl? Shout out my channel or shout me out, and I'll make sure I shout you out in my next video. But I just want to see how many of you guys are sticking around until the end, okay? Okay. The first thing that stood out was the fact that it gave my client more of a sleek type of like, it almost gave it a light press look. 
So I like that. I like that about it. Um, the frizz was very minimal. Um, I do feel like it, it dried pretty fast. I wasn't timing how long it took for me to dry her hair, but it did dry pretty fast, which if you're a hairstylist and you gotta be, you know, you trying to get people in and out, you don't have time to spend too much time on blow dryers that take too long. So that's a plus for me. And I'm sure it's a plus for a lot of y'all hairstylists on here or just people in general. Um, I did use that on a thick hair client. So her hair is thicker. She also had weave installed as well. So, and it still dried pretty quick, which I think is a plus. It has a warranty on it, which most tools in most cases do have some type of warranty on it. So I like the fact that it has a warranty on it. And then also the fact that the cord is very long. Okay, I had to hook it on my drive because I ain't got nobody to hold it, but this is how long the cord is. It doesn't state the length, but this cord is super long. It's really long. Which for me, having a long cord is perfect because a lot of times my cords and stuff get all wrapped up into each other and it's hard to untangle them. So I need to have extra room to be able to blow dry people hair and not have to untangle it every time because the cord is so short. If you guys understand what I'm talking about, if you a hairstylist, then let me know down below if y'all experienced that too. But anyway, so I would say that was one of my pros as far as the cord. Now that's the pros. Now you know we can't do pros without doing cons. So the cons I would definitely say is the nozzle was a little hard to remove, which I know um, a lot of times with new tools, things can get a little, you know, can be a little bit hard to remove and replace and all that kind of stuff. Um, and they did state that in the pamphlet as well, in the manual, it did say that um, if it's cold or if it's new, it will be hard to remove the nozzle. So I'm just gonna let it be a little bit, get it a little bit more warm, and then I'll be able to have a better review on this nozzle. Because nozzles tend to be the biggest thing that I have issues with, with my blow dryers. I, I just, I've had bad luck with blow dryers, and I've, in the past, only used Paul Mitchell. I've used multiple different types of hair dryers within Paul Mitchell um, brand and they have all broke on me and the nozzles all flop off and you can't replace them after they, they break off. Everyone. And so I'm hoping this one don't do the same thing. But I will also say the con is the fact that it did not have the diffuser. It didn't have a diffuser in there, which I feel like if you pay 250 for a dryer, it should at least have a diffuser in it. I mean, come on. That's the one thing they should change. Put a diffuser in there. Put a few little extra things or whatever in there because it's 250. I mean, come on, 250. Is it worth 250 is the question. That's what y'all really wanna know, is it worth it? Should you spend your coins on this blow dryer? My final thoughts would be, is it worth 250? Mm, I'm gonna have to say no, um, because I, I've gotten the same results with cheaper blow dryers. That's just my honest opinion. Um, hopefully it lasts longer than my other blow dryers because of the cost. I'm a person that likes to spend a little bit more on my blow dryers and tools because I don't like to replace them every year. And so hopefully it lasts longer. So should you buy this? Honestly, I'm gonna say that I feel like this dryer is gonna last me for a long time, which I feel like is a good quality. That alone would be the reason why I would spend that much money on a blow dryer, is because if it's gonna last me for a long time, then I do feel like it's worth it, even if it gives the same results of another blow dryer. That's my take on it. And what would I rate this? I would rate this blow dryer, honestly, I would probably give it like an eight and a half. I would give it an eight and a half because it's a pretty good blow dryer. I'm not gonna say like it's terrible, 
it's a pretty good blow dryer. It did exactly what it said it, it was going to do. It definitely gave um, me a little bit of shine. When I used it personally, when I used it on my client, it gave her some shine. Um, I like the fact that it was it zoomed through the hair super fast. So I would definitely buy it again. Um, and yeah, that's just my final thoughts. You guys ultimately have to decide whether it's gonna be a purchase for you or not. But I will have the link down below for all of you guys that are interested in purchasing this blow dryer or even the Paul Mitchell blow dryer that it was cheaper. I believe it was around a hundred and something dollars, but it is, it was not, it, it, it does not last long. So if you're just trying to find something quick, then maybe go to the Paul Mitchell blow dryer. But I, I'm gonna have to stick with this one. I like the fact that it's small. It fits right in my hand. It's so many good qualities that this blow dryer has that I would definitely buy it again. So the affiliate link is down below for Amazon for those of you that are interested in purchasing. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for being subscribed if you are. And if you're not, make sure you hit that subscribe button. What are you waiting for? What, what are you waiting on? Do you want to get these videos or not? I need your help. I need your support. It's free. It won't cost you nothing. Okay? All right, y'all. Bye. I'll see y'all next time.